You've turned your attention to prison reform. Yes. Yes, I yes. noticed that in the press. You're very big on that. And in fact, in 2018, you helped to free Alice Johnson from prison after serving 21 years on a drug charge. Incredible. And you've continued your work to help uh, others. So uh, where did this come from, this passion for prison reform? Um, you know, I... I mean, I know your father was a lawyer. Yeah. You know? um, and he actually was would talk about how stressful that life is and so would never, you know, would, would give me advice because I was always snooping through his papers and his the evidence books during the OJ trial. I was obsessed. I would go through everything on the weekends when they weren't around. You were a little girl. And too. yeah, I was 14 and um, he was like, you know, this is super stressful so just, you know, you don't, you shouldn't be snooping around in right. here. Um, and, you know, I just saw Alice's case online and someone tweeted it to me and I thought this is just really unfair. And to me it wasn't really about the politics, I knew nothing, I had no idea about the system, about what really goes on until I had to really for women. figure it out, mm -hmm. absolutely, and, or anyone of color. It's a completely different situation. Yeah, yes. So yeah. I've learned so much <coughs> and I wanted to go to law school because I feel like the more that I know, the more I can really do and change. And I love having an attorney with me every step of the way. Mm -hmm. um, You're going to law school? I am. Did you graduate I college? Am. Um, no, I did not. So how do you get the Thank you. Yeah. Good for you. So uh, there's four states that do something called reading the law, and in California, it's one of them. And basically, you need 60 credits of college, and I had 75. And so it's a four-year program, 18 oh. hours a week. You have to be sponsored by a firm. So Cut 50 is the law firm that sponsors me, Van Jones's firm. And every week we meet um, 18 hours a week in the offices. And I have to study and tests every month. And it's like there's no way around it. It's no joke. Mm -hmm. I have to take the bar. Mm -hmm. It's not the easy way out because you can do it that way. Mm -hmm. If anything, you'll save a lot on student loans. So I, <laughs> I recommend people do and it this way if they the want. Thing. I was critical of you when I first heard about it because I was like, "What is that? She didn't go to. She, she should just go to law school." And I yeah. apologize for that because I've Thank rethought you. it. I've looked into it, and with the crushing student debt, yeah. I think it opens up an avenue to so many people. More lawyers. That, more lawyers. Yeah. Well, we need them, Joy. <laughs> um, and and um, my my kudos to you Thank for you. for doing the work that it takes because I've spoken to Van about it as well, and I'm Thank I'm you. really happy for you because Thank you're doing you. the work. Um, and I and think prison people, reform is really I think important. people assume, though, that, you know, just like a regular college, it's not like I can go in and say, I'm really interested in criminal law, and so I'm just going to study this and get it done. No, I have to do torts, civil, mm -hmm. uh, have to contracts. Do I have to do yeah. everything yeah. Yeah. and then... And take the bar, which and is take not bar. easy. And it's yeah. very Only public, you can pass so that. be easy on me, people. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> a lot of people have not passed their first time, but uh, my skill is, and I'm so proud of this, and I've said it all week, and it's boasting, but whatever. Um, my teachers, I'll take a test, mm -hmm. and they'll look at me after and say, if you weren't sitting right here in front of my face, I would totally think yeah. that you were cheating because <laughs> I've never seen someone get so high on these mm -hmm. tests. Mm -hmm. And it's such a, mo it like inspires me. I was not a college person. I did not like school. Mm -hmm. I love this. I'm obsessed. Everyone's partying fashion week, going to every amazing party. And I'm sitting home in my room on Barbary, which is like this lecture course right. and studying and reading and preparing for this big contracts test I have. And I love it and I have no FOMO of not being out at these parties. Uh, when will you take the bar? Oh, I think 2024. California or? Yes, you have to do it California, yeah. which okay. is one of the hardest, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but I then you have this. to live in California, which you do anyway, right? I do. I mean, I know that my husband wants to move to Wyoming, but... It was, uh, it was Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> but I live in California. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, honestly, the, the sky, the air, Gorgeous. everything is different in Wyoming. Yeah. I love it. It's a happy place for me and my sisters. We all want to get a ranch there. Yes. We just did a cattle drive down there. It's been amazing. Oh, nice. Wow. We love Wyoming. You also <laughs> went to the White House to speak with President Trump about yes. prison reform last year, and you got a lot of heat from a lot of people. I believe in bipartisanship on a very basic level. I think we're not going to get anything done unless we're listening to two different voices. But were you worried about any backlash you were going to get because you, you know, did this bill with President Trump? Yeah, you know, I, I definitely was aware. 
But for me, any of my oh, issues God. have always been more about the people and not about the politics. And so for me to think that I couldn't go and speak to the man that has the power to change people's lives because of some opinions I may have of certain policies and issues, mm. to me felt very self-centered, that I was more worried about my reputation than hmm. saving someone's life. And so I put that all out the door, and I thought, you know what? I, I'm, I'm gonna choose her over my reputation. He also only tends to listen to celebrities. So the fact that you're doing it, I think it's a great help for so many people because he loves celebrities. So I, we all applauded you when you did it, and it's oh, amazing thank you. the work yeah. you're doing. You know, I just, I felt like um, I had an, an open opportunity to do that. And from the president going from being really harsh on his stance on prison reform mm -hmm. to changing and actually signing the First Step Act and getting that bill passed was amazing. Will he still listen cool. to you, do you think? Of course. Um, I, I think in hopefully, you know, prison reform, I brought up, you know, some other issues that are close to my heart mm -hmm. privately. And um, I continue to have those conversations and to fight for that. But yeah. in prison reform, I think um, I stay focused on that. And I believe that so, I, I see that so much more he wants to do. I've heard that. Oh, so good. let's see if that continues to happen. Yeah. You okay. know, if you don't try, you don't get. Exactly. Right. That's what they said. <laughs>